Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Now today we are gonna give a first taste to Chipotle's vegan chorizo. Now I have liked vegan chorizo from Trader Joe's for a long time and that flavoring is pretty good. I do have this in a burrito that does have cheese and sour cream. So it's not gonna be a vegan selection right now, but we're just kind of seeing what the flavor is like. I did sample some of the vegan chorizo by itself at the Chipotle that I was at, and I thought that that was really good on its own. It's really on par with the Trader Joe's vegan chorizo, if you've ever had that. It comes in this just like long tube, you open up the tube, and it just kind of falls into place. It's great for tacos, putting on salad. It has a nice spiciness to it. This one is a little bit more spicy, but I just want to see how this is in a burrito, how I normally would would get it. Now I usually do get the veggie burrito, the one that comes with guacamole, um, but for me I did get guacamole here, but just again, don't forget, I got the cheese and sour cream on this one as well. So it is not a vegan one. Wow, this is packed, packed tight with all of this goodness. Now I can't really show you the vegan chorizo, you just kind of have to see this on the inside. Now, should I have done, oh no. You know what, I usually get the bowls. I wanted to get the burrito experience, but I totally forgot that I should not have opened this up. I, whenever I have a burrito, I always tear this stuff off here, kind of like <laughs> a candy bar. Oh man, by the way, live in New York City, and today it costs $11.30, but that is because I got the guacamole here too. So just remember that it's expensive, but uh, I did get the guacamole on top. And because this is not a, they're not using the guacamole as the base, the vegan chorizo is the base. That's why guacamole is extra. For some reason I looked at the price and I was like, this seems a little bit high. Why is it so high? But you can even see maybe on the edges there, that is vegan chorizo right there kind of like a light brown. It does look a little bit orange and that's that little spice that it has. And if I didn't say this already, I totally forgot. Um, this does have a little bit more of a spice than the Trader Joe's chorizo that we've had in the past. So let's see how this all is. This is white rice, black beans, cheese, sour cream, kind of the light tomato um, salsa-ish stuff. Nothing spicy, didn't want to get any of that. And lettuce too. So let's see. <laughs> about taking a bite of this monstrosity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, you can even see the chorizo here at the top. If you kind of see that right there. That is the vegan chorizo. Now, even the person behind the counter is like, I'm not a vegetarian. Like, how do you know if it's gonna be good as a meat replacement? This is pretty easy to do just because it's almost like ground beef with spices. You're not really gonna notice if this is meat-based or plant-based. So this kind of just slides right in there. Now with this, you know, I told you I didn't get anything spicy on it, but the spiciness of the chorizo does kind of get on top of everything. And I definitely can taste that here first. So that's something that's a good flavor. And I have started liking spicier and spicier things. For example, I like to put wasabi on sushi now. I didn't like that before. And I do have a favorite hot sauce where before I didn't really go for hot sauce. This one is like right at the top here. It's good that there's other things around it to kind of balance out that spice. But if you don't like spice, the vegan chorizo is going to be a spicy chorizo. And that's normally what how chorizos is with spiciness, but you can find some milder ones. And for me, at least in my mind, from what I remember, the Trader Joe's one is less spicy. So we're going to take one more bite here. And again, take a look. That is the chorizo right there at the top. You can see the color that I was talking about. These are good bites because I'm getting a lot of chorizo here at the top. It seems to be top loaded here, so I have a good amount. I have a good impression. Yeah, I feel that burniness on the mid and the back portions on my tongue. 
And I'm really happy that I got the guacamole because it's kind of balancing it out a little bit. But um, yeah, it's a little, little bit spicy. I'm glad I have some water here with me. But just remember that when you do get it here, I would say if I was talking to the person behind the counter that I was talking to earlier, I would not know if they say it's meat-based or plant-based. And again, it's really easy to do chorizo as a plant-based because there's a lot of spices, it's ground up already. So there's not really a hunk of meat that you have to like really deal with. And that's what's easy to do. Um, this may be another video, but I tried the Beyond um, the Vegan Chicken from KFC today and they came out in little squares, you know. It was good. I did let it get cold because I got distracted and it just kind of like, it didn't work out later on. But hey, it was good with the KFC sauce. It's great that they have these vegan and vegetarian options. Again, I'm not sure if that's um, vegan or vegetarian, so do your research on that one. But this one is great. I have a Chipotle right across the street from me. I can always get this. I'm very happy with it. And again, would I recommend this to you guys? Yes. If you want a bowl, go for a bowl. If you like a burrito, get that. I usually do get the bowls because they're pretty easy. But I just kind of want to showcase this in a giant, giant, giant burrito form. All right, guys, if you have any questions about anything, put it in the comment section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. I'm very happy with this. I have a lot to eat, so I better get started. Um, good flavors all around. Again, on maybe the mild to medium spiciness range. So just remember that if you are not a fan or if you are a fan of spiciness. And I think it does have a good flavor and it works perfectly in a burrito. Um, if you had told me it's just regular chorizo, I wouldn't have even known. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.